What is up, people? It's me, Steve Roxers, and for today, I'll be playing Joshua. So, uh, I'm sorry about the delay in the video, by the way. I honestly realized that I was actually really, really bad at Yasuo. Like, I was really out of practice with him, and uh, I had to play a bunch of games with him before I even, like, made his video. But as you can see, I'm playing him with the new skin. It's the, what's it called? The Project Yasuo skin. It's really beast. I'm not sure if it's meant to be a Metal Gear reference. To me, it looks like a Metal Gear skin. But uh, a lot of people have been saying that it might be a reference to, like, some Halo uh, character or something. But to me, it looks like a cyborg ninja, so like I'm just glad about that because uh, when when Jasso came out, I had just beat a uh, Metal Gear. No, no. When I first tried out Jasso, I had just like beat Metal Gear um, Rising, which is you know the the spin of Metal Gear game, and uh, I was like, damn, dude, Jasso could totally have like a cyborg ninja skin, and guess what? He finally got one. It took a while, but it did. Okay, so anyways, Jasso did get nerfed. Uh, quite a few times ever since my last Yasuo video, which was quite a while ago, his uh, his Q doesn't scale nearly as much anymore on uh, attack speed, and this is kind of why people have kind of been straying away from his building uh, Blade or Rune King on him anymore, and tried to go for Bloodthirster, which by the way actually deals uh, makes Yasuo deal quite a lot of uh, burst damage. Oh my God, I really did take that damage. Okay. Anyways, let's get going. So, I'm gonna be dealing with a Vagar mid. It's not a surprise there's gonna be a Vagar because of the skin, you know, popular, popular things. But honestly, I've been playing again. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of Yasuo and Solo Q ever since this skin came out. And it's not a surprise, really, but, um, yeah, a lot of mirror lanes when I've been practicing. And, uh, also, I, I, guess I should be mentioning this. Um, in my summoner spells, as you can tell, I have exhaust instead of ignite. Um,. A lot of people realize that, you know, if Yasuo is going to ever be dealing with, like, a, a burst lane, uh, it may as well be, um, with ex you may as well be running Exhaust instead of Ignite, because the thing about Ignite is that, you know, it only works offensively rather than defensively, and, um, when you're playing someone like Yasuo, chances are you're going to be playing against a, a burst mage of some kind, like Annie, Syndra, um... Probably even Akali because a lot of people consider Akali to be like a really tough matchup for Yasuo to deal with. And uh, yeah, like Exhaust just makes it that much easier. Like it's also like, you know, kind of Trump said a little bit. Okay, a lot of things need to be happening around the map right now. The jungler was just top, so I gotta be careful. Probably start warding up. Oh my god, I'm missing a lot of CS. I'm not concentrating in this game. Oh shit, that's right, my ward is still on cooldown. <laughs> I can't ward. Uh, I'm gonna have to play a little bit safe then. I do have exhaust, so I'm not too scared. By the way, I'm not sure if my opponent is actually the real Spazzy, because uh, Spazzy is apparently like this Swedish YouTuber. I don't really watch his stuff, but a lot of people mention about him to me. They're like, oh, have you also heard about him? And I was like, no, not really. But apparently his name is spelled with a 4, so I'm not sure if this is the real guy or not, or he's like an impersonator. But whatever. You just thought I would mention it. Not sure if it's the real thing. Mm, anyways, let's see. Oh shit, that was Diane. I thought I was leasing for a second. I was looking at like the scoreboard. Okay. Anyways, um, so yeah, not only did Yasuo's Q get nerfed for uh, attack speed scaling, it also got um, his uh, what's it called? His W, did it, it, they removed the passive from his W where he would gain, like, um, you know, his little shield passive every time he would uh, jump to something with his sweeping blades. And honestly, it did make Yasuo's early game a little bit worse. Not to mention that, you know, his sweeping blade, you can't stack it up to uh, four times anymore. You can only stack it up twice. And this makes it so that you can't do that level one cheese where you would jump to, like, four different minions and then onto your uh, opponent, which would be, like, a lot of magic damage at level one. It would be pretty ridiculous. Um, okay. Bot lane seems to be really pushed in. Maybe I should be looking into roaming. Uh, Vagar just went missing. Vagar is packing teleports, so I should be careful. It might be a gank top, I'm not sure. Okay, never mind. He used it to come back to lane. Alright, um, I'm, that should be my cue to go back and get my seal. Uh, oh wow. Hang on, this guy is going to try and stop my recall, it seems. Okay, I'm gonna recall here. Oh, look at this recall animation. He does like this little break dance with like the sword in his feet. So that is totally like a Metal Gear reference because that happens in the fourth game. Okay. 
This, this skin is so beast, dude. Like, I don't know, man. I'm so glad it happened. Like, I know I said that about uh, in the last video with the Vega, but like, the the last boss Vega skin is not really. I don't know. It feels like it's just a huge reference to a bunch of different games. Like, yeah, this skin is feels like a big reference to like my favorite game series. You know, Metal Gear. It's like it's amazing. Cause I never thought I would see the day. Um, um, a very like Metal Gear, Metal Gear skin would happen to Lee. Also, what also makes me think that it's a Metal Gear reference is that you know Jasso's hair is gray, and that's kind of like uh, the hair of. Uh, the hair color of Raiden from Metal Gear, so yeah, very hard to argue with that. <laughs> okay, let's put a pink ward here, and let's just keep pushing mid in. Oh my god, he's actually caught up and farmed pretty well. Anyway, with Seal, I'm gonna have a lot more crit chance, and oh my god, I didn't want to step into that, so I kind of backed out a little bit. Mm, let's keep shoving. I need to be looking into like roaming now because I know that Vegar can't follow me because of a. Uh, Teleport being down, so maybe I should look into going bot. I mean, okay, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can do it. Okay, I'm pinging my team like crazy. They better be ready for this shit. They better be ready, or, or I'm wasting my time big time here. Oh my god, please! What are you waiting for? Okay, I got exhausted. I'm gonna put this wall down, and we're good. Okay, so we got the flash out of somebody. That's good at least. Um, I hope they don't get wrecked now. I'm gonna pop my pot and just walk towards mid lane. Uh, Diana's gonna take care of it for a while. That's okay. I don't know where the Vega went. Maybe it's like taking blue buff or something. It's, a, it's around this time that people take their blues. Mm, okay, time to shove it to lane. So I don't know if that roam was worth it. I got like the, the flash, that's about it. Kind of lame. I kind of feel like my, my laners could have done a little bit more to like try and secure a kill there, but whatever their choices not mine um let me put a ward up here in before pink ward no there's no pink ward nice uh, mid lane is missing so people will be careful oh there he is blue buff mm -mm. Mm -mm. oh god just in case he was gonna try and ult me too <laughs> Time to farm the raves. Uh, Diana, no, you don't want to do that. He's we got like no minions. Mm -hmm. The red buff is up. Diana should be trying like take that before like the enemy jungler does. Okay. Wow, I'm kind of low health. I don't like this anymore. He could probably kill me with blue buff up. Oh, he went for a tier build. It's gonna make him pretty weak early. I'm not a big fan of Tyrion Vega. Like I can see it work, because you kind of want to have a, a big mana pool, and you don't really want to build like an Assassin's on Holy Grail against an AD champion. But um, I think double Dorans or triple Dorans into um, uh, a Seeker's on guard would probably way better on a uh, Vega. Oh God. Okay, I'm just gonna exhaust him. Oh wait, maybe he's not gonna fight me. What the fuck? Okay, I thought he was gonna try and finish me off there. GG. I just wasted my exhaust for no reason. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna get my Avarice Blade. And where is it? There it is. Okay, we may as well sell this, get this, and get two wards. And now we get back to land. So you can see. Oh, God! Where is he teleporting to? Oh, to the bot, bot lane. Okay. At least he didn't get anything. Oh, my God. He might get something here, though. No! I, I recalled when that happened. Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. That just happened. She needs to execute herself. Wow, that was amazing. That just made Vegas teleport like so not worth. Jesus Christ. That must feel so shit. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. That was funny as heck. Okay. Oh, look at this though. Velkazi. Alright, time to farm up the stuff. Let me put my ward up here. Alright, let's go over here. Anyway, so, um, 
I do think that Jasso is still a strong champion regardless of all these... What? What is she doing? God damn it, dude. I really... I really didn't need that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I do think that uh, Jasso is still a strong champion. It's just that um, you kind of have to wait for like late game until like you start becoming like really, really useful. Because... Um, I don't know, like, his his laney face feels like it took a really big hit with all the nerfs that happened. Oh. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay. Maybe I get a kill on him? Yeah, I do. Uh oh. Oh, did you see that flash just as the Q was about to, like, separate? I'm gonna go this way because he's just gonna Q to this thing. Uh oh. I'm gonna die, I think. Whoa, what the fuck? Lag. I crashed. What happened? What happened? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm getting frog and DDoSed. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart the recording, I guess, because this just got messed up. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I don't know what the hell just happened. I just had a new kind of, like, freeze. Like, the, the client's only froze and it wouldn't let me reconnect, so I don't know what happened. It felt like a new form of disconnecting, but I don't know. Maybe it's frog and DDoSing me. Who knows? Okay, let's just... Okay. Oh my god, okay, that stun is lasting a long time. This guy is maxing stun first. Wow. He's actually hurting a little bit because he's got, uh, what's it called, AP. Uh, I need to be very careful now. I, I probably should have bought, like, Mercury Treads first or something before trying to do this. How, how strong did he get? Uh, mid lane is missing. Please be careful. Damn it, dude. I just got a kill on the guy, and then, like, Lee Sin comes around. And then, like, he also DDoSes me. <laughs> okay, he didn't DDoS me, but, you know. It almost felt that way. Because of the way everything just went. Like, I, I was having, like, a good time. Oh, oh. Let's get out. Let's get out. He's gonna flash ult. If he has it. If he has the flash. Oh, my God. He just deletes me. This is unfair, man. Alright, I'm gonna get boost. I probably needed that a while ago. Now I'm faster than him at least. He was actually faster than me before. Or was he? Hang on, let me refund. Yeah, he was faster than me. GG. Alright. The simplicity. Oh my god, I'm so frustrated about having like... You know... Just um... Get like the weird crash or DC or whatever that was around there. Maybe my team will be able to help me out though. Like, it seems like everyone's been doing well. Or, well, the Estral has been. Not so much the Nilly. Nilly into Jace is actually a pretty tough lane, though. Like, I actually play Jace top a lot of my Smurf, and I've been going against a lot of Nillies. And it seems like I win almost every time. Um, so yeah. If you ever struggle with Nilly, consider Jace. Because pretty much anything that's ranged can actually put up a really good fight against Nilly. Okay, nice. They keep, like, slaughtering the vein here. Okay, I don't know where uh, Vega went, so that's kind of scary. He is pretty strong right now. Um, let me put my pink ward here. Oh, what? <laughs> Diana's AFK? What happened? Okay, it looks, looks like Diana's kind of mad. Were you in game? <laughs> what? Alright. So they seem to be trolling each other a little bit. Let me just go back to farming. So anyway, I probably should have been done, been doing this a little bit more often. Like just take the the jungle camps and stuff. Cause once you got static shift, like you have no reason not to farm the jungle camps. I don't know where the hell Vagar is. He seems to not be mid, so that kind of makes gives me a feeling that he's trying to roam to bot right now. Yeah, that call though. Well. Oh, I kind of wanted to ult that, but then I was like, no, it was going to be right in front of the tower. Nidalee, you should be pushing top if Jace is going to stay mid. I'm just going to keep farming. Wait, did Diana really go AFK? Oh my god, please, no. He's like waiting in the base. I'm, I, I'm hoping he's just waiting in the base for a really big item instead of like actually going completely AFK because that would be really, really lame. Ugh, I'm so annoyed right now. Okay, this guy's just trying to stun me. That's annoying. It it does look like Diana has rage quit. Anyway, I'm gonna go back and get Mercury Trace. I kinda need that. 
seems so. What the hell, man? Why would you rage quit? I will not forget Is the score bad? Zero three. Okay, I can see why she would want to quit, but like, it's still not a good enough reason to quit. Like, we still had a fighting chance. Like, our AD carry was really, really strong. I don't know why you would quit at this point. Like, I can see if, like, your entire team is, like, doing really badly, but, like, like this, it's not worth it. Okay, whatever. I won four versus fives before. So, let's do it. I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna hope I don't troll. And obviously I need to cooperate a lot with this Astro because he's the he's the strength right now. He's the fighting force. He's the fighting force indeed. Oh my god. Oh this is not looking good right now. The numbers advantage is starting to show because Lee Sin is just ganking. Okay, let me see if I can hide in this brush or not. Oh Oh shit, hang on. Okay, he got out of that, at least. Oh god. Wait, wait. I I'm gonna exhaust him because he's gonna try and cue me to death. Alright, there we go. There we go. My wall isn't up yet. I'm not gonna be able to chase him down. Fuck. Okay, whatever. Let's just take down the towers then. Is he gonna be fine? Yeah, he got him. Good job, Astro. Whoa, hang on. Okay, let's get him like this, and... Oh, God. Please? Oh, my God. Okay. Block that shit, and he's dead. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're winning this, and Diana's actually coming back from this effort. Nice. All right. Rome bot worth. Look at that. Okay, let's just make sure I get farmed, though. All right, there we go. Oh, we're taking Dragon now? Sweet. Coming, 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 coming. Look, a ward. Let's get rid of it. Oh, that dragon is going down pretty quickly. Man, I'm still annoyed that I got that like weird random like disconnection thing. Wow, did my wind will actually block Yasuo's uh, Lee Sin's Q before it actually reached the dragon? That's pretty beast because I didn't think it would because it was like kind of awkward, awkwardly placed. Anyway, this skin is pretty beast. I I like all the effects about it. Nice, okay. Oh, I actually got stunned, whatever. Nice, this Astro is actually really, really good. Let's dodge that. Alright, let's go back. And let's get the Beer Sword, and hopefully... Hmm, what should we be getting next? I think that's it, really. Yeah, I just need damage at the moment. Let's go for damage. Whoa! That is not what I meant. <laughs> uh, I got a Brutalizer. Hey, you know what? Maybe Brutalizer um, Yasuo could be pretty good. I'm not sure. I haven't ever tried it. Like, maybe Yuma's Ghostplay Yasuo would be pretty beast. <laughs> Never tried it. It could work. I could see it work. Like, it has a bunch of stats that could make Yasuo really strong. Um, team has to be very careful because I'm not with them. And, um... Yeah, I don't know how hard Ezra can actually carry from his back here. Like, against the whole world. Yeah. Flash ultimate from Begar. Not much you can do about that shit. Okay, hopefully Nilly can run because... Oh my god, there's a pink ward there. Bitches. Just a bunch of bitches, the whole bunch of them. Okay, I'm gonna have to knock him up here. My Q actually does quite a bit of damage. That's cool. I just hope they don't take Baron or anything. Oh, shit. They're just pushing mid. That's cool. Come on. No, he DFG'd me and shit. Oh my god. The wall saved me for a while. Nice. Oh, what? Estro got the kill because he got like the damage done with his ult. Whatever, I held the line, I kept the tower alive, that's what matters, right? Oh god, wait, 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 Esther can totally play around this. Oh no, he eat right into the freaking Valkos thing. Let's get Alacrity Boots, I need to move faster. If I want to avoid stuff. 
Oh my god. Oh, are they gonna get this this guy too? Oh, that, that guy is really tanky though. He's not gonna be killing Lee Sin in quite a while. I think at least. I mean, he could try. Let's get the elixir boots. I mean, elixir too. The red elixir. Sorry, not the elixir boots. Anyways, damn. This has not been a very impressive game for me, but I, I do blame the, the crash, the random weird crash disconnect. That was like really, really annoying. I couldn't even fight back if I wanted to. Although I have a feeling I would have still died anyway, even if I didn't crash. So strange though. Are we doing this? Are we doing this? Okay. Oh, that's cheating. It goes through my wall. Uh oh. Okay, here comes the insect. Oh, nice. No! Okay, I exhausted the vein at least before dying. Wow. Nice. Diana finishes it off. And. Wow! Nice, Diana. Oh, Estral, you gotta cute him. You gotta cute him from range. Nice. Damn it, dude. Oh, God, no. Estral, you got cocky here. Ooh. Nice. In the meantime, Nidalee's is like pushing bot lane on her own. Like, this is 4 versus 5 that we're doing. Damn, dude. I'm getting carried. Not cool, but maybe I'll have my time in the future. I mean, I did do some things there. I did deal a lot of damage. I did take the, the damage for my team, but I'm not building tanks, so it's not ideal. I'm the one that's supposed to be deal dealing all the damages. But it's whatever. Okay, um, wow. I've been farming quite a bit, but the Jesus has me beat, and so does Nelly. Nice. Uh, is that her dead? Probably. Rest in peace. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's get these minions. Quickly, quickly, get the gold. Okay, people are mid, so I probably should be with my team. One thing I really dislike about dealing with Vega is that, you know, the stun cage can really mess things up. Oh, look at this! Oh, okay, that's the stun cage on cooldown at least. No! Oh my god, whatever. Okay, got two kills for that. Worth? Yeah, it was worth. You bet it was worth. Let's get this. Um, What should I get otherwise? I don't know if I should... No, I shouldn't sell my Doran's Blade. I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna get a bunch of wards, and I'll probably get the Elixir for it too once, once I come back up. Alright, alright. Got a few kills. Made myself a little bit stronger. I'm getting kinda towards the Infinity Edge. Hmm. I'm trying to think, like, if there would be any alternative build that I should be going for right now, because, you know... Their team is actually not that tanky aside from Lee Sin, so I don't really need to rush a, a Last Whisper at all. So I'm probably just gonna go like the standard build, which is right now Static Shiv into Infinity Edge into Bloodthirster and then Last Whisper or Defensive Item, GA, what, whatnot. Maybe I should have rushed GA first or something because of like just the way the game has gone for me. I feel like that might have been better. But I want at least Static Shiv and Infinity Edge because the thing is, I have runes that give me 5% crit chance, which is which totals into 10% and to get it with Static Shiv and Infinity Edge that actually gives Yasuo exactly 100% crit chance and to have 100% crit chance with just two items is like really nuts and um, yeah it's just you know a unique thing to Yasuo wow I actually took a bit of damage from random poke there that's not cool I really like the fact that I also like gave Yasuo like a voice filter like he sounds like a cyborg. Uh oh. Okay. Where's the Vagar? Oh, he's top. Okay, he's dealing with Nelly. Hopefully, Nelly doesn't like completely just die. Okay, we're fighting this. Oh. Oh God. Oh my God! I was hoping for it to hit Vayne. Okay, this is like. Awkward as fuck. Okay. I don't know if she should have ulted when Diana did her W, but I felt like, you know, if I ulted that, I would have been like in tower range and I would just be a really easy kill. So I didn't. Vigor's still top. 
I almost have my infinity edge. Damn it, dude. I felt like I didn't do anything in that fight, which made me really feel bad, but I feel like that was probably the wisest choice. Because now with me up, oh my god. Wait, if he goes on me, I could just exhaust him. Or do that. Okay. He's trying to take the tower. Okay, got the tower. We gotta be careful about Vagar though. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ping that away from there because he might come from that direction. Oh god, there he was. Damn it, dude. Alright. Estral might have him here. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Did I even get an assist? No, because it didn't deal any damage. Let's get this. Let's get this. Wow, we just aced them. Holy shit, we're actually winning. All I had to do is to click on Leon, but I fallil that XD. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, three six nine. Wow. Three plus three plus three. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know why I even mentioned that. Okay, okay, okay. Um. So now I got like my two core items basically. Now I can go however I want with my build. I kind of feel like I should be going Guardian Angel, really, because I feel like I am actually the front line for my team, which is which shouldn't be the case. It should be Diana and Leona, but being a melee champion is a rough life sometimes, and uh, you just have to build accordingly. Damn, dude. Ancestral actually did really well this game. Gotta be able to foresee that Vagar, Vagar cage. Oh, there it is. Oh shit. Boom. Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna hit Vayne. Not like I was gonna alter anyway if that hit because he would have been under tower. Uh, if I could just like delete everyone's damage before it ever happens with my wind wall, it would be so beast. But that actually happens way less than it should. Uh oh, hang on. Whoa, what? Okay, I'm hiding behind my wall. Okay. Wow, I still got hurt by a lot. Wait, even Leona got a Garden Angel. What is this? Usually supports don't get that item. I only just noticed this. Guardian Angel Leona. Okay, maybe we should have taken top tower now that I look at the map. Because in middle, they're just gonna keep like respawning and uh, yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go top. I'm gonna take the farm for myself and it's just been caught out. Nothing we can do about that now. He's probably doomed. Or wait, no, he's not a kiting god. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I kinda knew it was Bone as soon as he got hit by that stuff. <coughs> Is he chasing me? Yeah, he is. But he's not... Oh, wait. He is almost as fast as me. I just realized he has boost of swiftness with alacrity enhancement. That makes him really fast. What the fuck? Mm. Wow, that bot, that bot is actually shoving in quite hard, though. They don't have vision here. Uh, are they really doing it? Holy shit, they are. I could be getting a lot of damage down. Oh, oh my god, okay, I'm gonna exhaust her, then do this, oh, oh, oh my god, there we go, that made all those deaths earlier worth it, fuck that, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait until, like, the Jason Lee Sin are you standing, like, in a, in a line, and it actually happened, I was like, oh my god, I got him, and then I used to use my exhaust on Bane so she couldn't kill me, and, like, yeah, they got wrecked, nice. Oh my god, that was so worth it. I don't give a fuck about all the deaths that just happened in this game. I used Rectum 4v1 oh, with a little bit of help of Baron. If you notice, I kind of stood behind Vayne because I wanted to make sure that if Baron was damaging someone, it would be either Vayne or Valkaz. And yeah, that's what it was. <sighs> nice, nice. Worth, worth. Worth all the pain. Did she get Spirit Visage this time? Mm, she got a Spectre's Call at least. He doesn't have a voice tap yet, so his damage isn't like gonna be completely uh, ridiculous. Not yet at least. Nice! Estrel actually managed to survive that. Does he have a Guardian Angel? No, he's just got a QSS. Oh god, he's about to get... 
Oh no. No matter where he goes. Well, you want to pretty much sacrifice yourself there. The thing about that is that, you know, because I killed pretty much all of them at the same time, that meant that, meant that every one of them was going to be up at the same time. So, um, I don't think my team kind of accounted for that. But yeah, as I said, late game, team fights, that's where Jasso kind of shines now. Like, he's also a really good duelist, but, um... He's very good at team fighting. It's like a really unique thing for an AD carry to be able to, to be good at team fighting because you know he has that crowd control, and he also has a, a way to amplify crowd control. To, you know, extend them. In this case, it would be just knockbacks, but you know what I'm saying. Like he's very unique in this case. Like Fiora, Master G, like all those. Oh, okay. Okay, he was trying to line things up there. No. There we go. Oh my god, I probably should have dropped my wall down. Uh. Oh god, I think he might be dead there. Yeah, could have not mechanic his way out of there. Nice, nearly got the bot tower while that was happening. And with that money, I can finally get my blood thirster. There we go. So with blood thirster, I'm gonna have like you know that big shield whenever I'm doing well, and also I'm gonna have um, what's it called? I'm gonna have 20% life still, which is a lot, and not to mention 88, 80 AD. Wow, it's completely wrecked. Yeah, it is becoming late game, so uh, Vagar's burst is gonna be very scary. Uh, I'm not sure if I should just go for a Banji's Veil instead of a Garden Angel. Doing that to a uh, El Nio Dali. What? <laughs> this this guy's spelling on some things is kind of funny. Um. Okay. Shit. I should probably bought like some wars before leaving the base, but it's too late now. There's no turning back. Mm hmm. My main is AD carry. What a name. Okay. Just go ahead. Oh man, the the bloodthirster's red shield kind of fits with the skin actually because you know the, some of the the graphic effects on the skin is red. Oh god. Okay, you know what? You freaking infuriated me a little bit there. Okay. Oh my god, I fucked up. Wait, the W. There we go. Oh fuck. All right, the ultimate god like. Absorbed by the W there. Was it his ultimate? I, I felt like it was. Um, damn. Not gonna lie though, that was pretty troll. Oh, and he teleported to mid. Damn, he pussy it out. He's not there anymore, dude. He's mid. He's mid. He's mid. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure if this is a really wise idea, but may as well. I want to farm. Okay, time to back out. So he probably went into the brush and then teleported back. That was really badly fought by me, though. I could have definitely done a little bit better than that. But at least the W, like, really caught him off. That stun cage, he used it twice there in that fight, didn't he? Holy shit, it's got such a low cooldown now. Oh my god, someone actually left one of the little ones. I hope they're not gonna, like, run into the entire enemy team. Yeah, it kind of looks like they're running into the entire enemy team there. I gotta be there to stop it, but I'm not. Okay. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, that should be a dead Vagar. Nice. I'm almost there, team. I'm almost there. Deleted. Wait, put the wall down. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Where's the Penta? Where's Jace? You little bitch. Okay, whatever. Anyways, I gotta. I gotta pretty much give this game to Estral. He definitely carried this game in a very dark place when, like, you know, um, people like um, Diana didn't want to keep playing. So, good job, Estral. You pretty much carried this game. <laughs> um, I did do some things. I stopped the enemy team from getting Baron. That was a pretty big deal to pretty much win this game, I would feel. Wow. <laughs> it didn't get the kill. That must be so disappointing to not get the unofficial panda. Okay. Um, should we keep going this? Uh, five. We got like, we probably will get like one of the towers. Okay, now we need to go. We need to go. We need. Oh my god. Okay. You know what? Yeah, she's dead. She is dead. 
not not like no one else is a uh, can afford to die right now so uh oh please I just need a little bit more gold till I can afford like a, a last whisper or something shit are they gonna go for Baron I think they're gonna go straight for Baron Vigor is bot but he can pull that off because he's oh yeah that's right he doesn't have teleport anymore he used it to go to mid that one time I'm kind of sure he doesn't have teleport anymore at least Okay, it seems like Nelly's kind of getting cornered a little bit. Uh, I cannot defend under tower against four people. I'm just gonna have to abandon this tower. Not to mention the tower is like super low too. Fuck! I just want the gold, man. Oh, that actually hit. Jesus. Oh my God, he really wants to make sure Vega dies. Nice. There we go. Ooh, that was actually really, really close to hit him. Oh, nice. The fear of Jasso, dude. When he's dashing around, people use flash. Oh, maybe I should have let Ezreal use auto attack that for life steal. Fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> that wasn't even gonna hit. Uh, Ezreal, I got exhaust. If you wanna fight them, we can. Wait, wait, fighting's happening in bot lane. Damn it. Uh, where's everybody? Oh my god. They're going so deep for this. Please. I'm almost there. What? Sonya's eyeglass. What a beast. Wait. Exhausted. Come on. Just gotta save. No, or not. Okay. We got the double kills. We got the inhibs. Where's Vagar? He's still dead for like a few seconds. I'm done trolling. Oh my god. He actually has to walk around the freaking wall to deal damage. Um, I could get my Garn Angel now. I don't really think I need Last Whisper. So yeah, I'm gonna go for Garn Angel. This is gonna make me so much uh, harder to deal with. Uh, let's go ahead and take the Dragon from my team though. Yeah, it's still up. Oh yeah, and a small tip. The Wind Wall actually does block the damage from objectives. So like, if you put it down, you actually don't take any damage from objectives for a while. So like Baron and Dragon. Not not turrets. That would be very broken. <laughs> Alright, let's use recall and let's get ourselves where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Garden Angel, Garden Angel. There it is. Let's get the Garden Angel and let's also get a pickaxe to build into like a last whisper. Okay. Um hmm. Mm, I'm trying to look at the team's enemy uh, uh, at the enemy team's uh, items to see if like there's anything I should be looking out for. Sonya's hourglass is only on Velkaz, not on Vagar. Vagar does have the mana, so I mean the mana shield, so he could potentially bait. Dude, I'm walking into blind into blind spots. This is not cool. I don't like like Vagar. I mean uh, Estro walking here because. Uh, I mean, he does have a Banshee as well, so he does have a lot of, a uh, pretty big fighting chance. I just realized, he, he's gone for like completely like 80 cast rich build, like no Infinity Edge whatsoever. Pretty much gonna rely on most of his damage from his Q. Okay, so Nilly's pushing bot. Uh, Diana's with us, Nilly's kinda getting caught out a little bit. Oh my god, wait, it's alright, it's alright, I still got GA. So even if he bursts me down, I'll, like, I'll just come back up. Whoa! Whoa, maybe I should have ulted that, but I don't think I was in range anyway. Okay, hang on. No! Velkaz thing! Okay, I got somebody. Oh my god, did no damage. Okay, I do deal damage, because uh, I thought I was not going to deal any damage to the Lee Sin, but I did. Alright, it all worked out in the end. Nice. Alright, let's just end this game. Oh, please. Okay. I get to keep my Garden Angel. It never got popped. Wow. Can't say the same about that guy, though. Okay, this game should be over, and that's it. Anyway, that was my Project Jassel video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of fun, and the skin is really beast. So, if you, you are, like, kind of on edge about getting it, I would suggest you get it, if you really do. 
uh, have some interest for it. Anyways, if you did like this video, it would be nice to give it a like. And uh, of course, if um, this is the first time watching one of my videos, you can always subscribe to me because I'm always trying to upload new videos. Anyways, that was it for me. This has been me, Steve Rockstars, and hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.